the films he was doing, like Eyes Wide Shut, it's never going to make a lot of money. <laughs> you know, so you the go, oh, he's going to make a lot No, Kubrick films don't make a lot of money. They just don't. You know? No, so they don't. He, they, yeah. they, he picked stuff that he was working on, and then he, you know, you know what made him come back big time? Tropic Thunder. He's wearing the makeup and he's yeah. dancing at the end. And people went, holy crap, it's Tom freaking Cruise. <laughs> and that started it back up. Fate whispers to the warrior, a storm is coming. And the warrior whispers back, Dad, Tom Cruise won't come out of the closet. I am the storm. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. But some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? Oh, you should put that speech on tape. He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. That's the Chicago way. Hello, Chicago! Hello! 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 Got a drink for that? Welcome to Alternate Reality. part of the deal but that's spitball that'll be the easiest one to make this is it. well that's the one that they could be working on right now if they want to oh, yeah. drop it in whenever you know Jeffrey Wright sitting there going where's the script well I would assume it has a deadline but it's got a date well it's got a date yeah. but it's a TV date yeah. so I mean you can be pushed back oh you're probably going to get Disney Plus by now. really what is it uh, because it's going to be cooked up with Hulu it's okay. an option you can add okay they announced it like yesterday. All I care about is the HBO Max thing. It's the only thing I care about. Which is I'll probably get on Comcast because I got HBO. They're probably going, yeah, we'll add it. <laughs> they do that with everything else. Well, everybody so, got the Dish Network thing. They, that's how I got Amazon. They that's pissed off as hell now. Dish Network is, it's the ball headed stepchild. Everyone has the other one. Well, I've got DirecTV, yeah, and I am TV. getting ready to dump DirecTV. You might I have lost, to. I lost CBS a week yes. ago, and it's still gone. Yeah, it's not coming back. It doesn't look like it's coming back anytime soon. What, all either. access? No, CBS, CBS, period. Yeah. There's a sign up there that says, Hi, we couldn't come to an agreement. They wanted too much money. We aren't going to pay it. <laughs> so we've lost CBS. Go to this website and complain, because we really want CBS back, but they want charges too much. It's not fair. Gosh darn it, it's not fair. You're saying you can't Move along. Nothing else to see here. you think you can't watch SWAT now? I nope. can't watch anything on CBS. No, no now. CBS I can't watch at local, all. Can't watch local news. Can't watch network. ESPN too. They screwed a lot of people out of it. The hotel has three hundred and fifty nine rooms, and fourteen other rooms has TV on there. And guess what? They all hooked up to what? Direct TV. Direct TV. So they all looking at a big ass black screen and the thing bouncing like this. For what? Signal oh, loss. Yeah. Why do you have signal loss? Because they keep trying to flip the channels and they oh. can't get CBS. They can't get ESPN. Well, nobody's getting and, CBS. They just said they lost it. And, yeah, and. Maybe a little bit of five and seven. NBC and ABC, that's it. You know what they won't get screwed on? The alternate reality. Hey, folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to <laughs> the Stores Podcast, The Alternate Reality. And as always, we're coming to you from the heart of downtown Mount Greenwood at the Alternate Reality Recording Studios. Good studio? Yes, we are in it right now. And all the acoustic paneling on the wall. And yeah, I smell BS. Yeah, okay, yeah. Where's my coffee? Oh, yeah. Wrong studio. And we're coming to you, like I said, from Alternate Reality, located at the intersection of Hunter Lane of the Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone for over a quarter of a century now. Everybody has saved 15% off at least on their new comics every single day for the last 25 years down here at Alternate Reality. You Joe Abe and Joe Slapnuts. I'm being joined today by <laughs> Joe Slapnuts' best pal, the one and only Bocephus. I'm waiting for that perp walk, I'm telling you. <laughs> and with him is the man who won't say a word to Joe Slapnuts because he knows that he's, he's a mook. The one, the only, the music man himself, the man of many notes, Rod Flash. Say hi, Rod. Hello, I make no apologies. Well, really? You, that's good. <laughs> that's good. And we're here today to talk about Phase 4. It's been all over the internet. I'm sure that... If you're listening to this, you, you haven't heard of Phase 4, you might actually have heard of the lineup. We're going to spend the next half hour talking about it, because I think that there's more than enough to talk about there. Um, and I'm going to start off with the rundown. Uh, Which just, begins... Just to make sure that we're Black all, Widow. Just to make right. sure we're all on the same page. I want to do the rundown first, and then we'll talk about them. All okay, right. First up is going to be Black Widow, which is supposed to have... And these dates are the dates that were set at Phase 4. I would assume as you get deeper into these, those dates are going to start getting more liquid. But as for right now, the Ooh. dates are... Black Widow was May 1st, 2020. 
Then you're going to have the Falcon Winter Soldier show on streaming Disney, which will be fall 2020. Uh, in November 6th of 2020, that's when Eternals is supposed to come out in movie theaters. Right now. Shooting right now. Then on February 12th, 2021, will be Shang Chi and the Ten Rings of the Mandarin. Because the Mandarin's back. Because back. the Mandarin's back. We're Tony Leon. We're going to talk about that. Then spring 2021 on Disney Plus, we'll have WandaVision. Uh, May 7th, 2021, we'll have Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which okay. <laughs> that was like a lot of fun. And then in spring 2021, we have Loki on Disney Plus. Summer 2021, we have What If on Disney Plus. Fall 2021, we have Hawkeye on Disney Plus. And then on uh, November 5th of 2021, we have Thor, Love, and Thunder in movie theaters. Other things announced were Blade, which was announced for Phase no, Blade 4. Space 5. Blade Blade was, was, Blade I, was, was, I was just going to say yeah. that. I was just going to say that. It was announced for Phase 4, but it will probably be Phase 5. It will be Blade. Fantastic 4 and... Said, Something to do with the mutants. Yeah, he was said mutants. Frank said mutants. Was, That's all he said. Was confirmed, yeah. but nothing was set. Right. Nothing was said about it except that, yeah, we're doing something. Yeah. So, and that will be at some point during the course of Phase 4. And that is your lineup. Now, we also have floating around in there, which he didn't have on the lineup, but is coming because it's already been announced. Right. At some point, we're going to Black Panther 2, which people assume is going to be spring of, of 2022, well, more or less. I'm guessing. These are all guesses. Like I said, the farther out you get, the more liquid these get. You've got Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which James Gunn has to finish up Suicide Squad right. first. Right. That's why I said I can't talk about it because I'm still working right yeah, now. Yeah, he can't do anything until he finishes up Suicide right. Squad, but that is probably maybe coming May of 2022. Yeah. Maybe not. And then Captain Marvel 2, which is probably going to be summer of 2022. There's a script order for that already. And like I said, Fantastic Four is floating around out there someplace. However, that's going to work is going to be up to them. I would be at all surprised to see him Yeah, and they said when Flag made the announcement, the, the, the mic drop was, oh, by the way, Marshall Ali is Blade. See ya! <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a good one. I saw that one. And they didn't say a word about Wesley Snipes. Wesley welcomed Asking, him yes. to the family. He, he said, welcome to the Daywalkers. Is that, a nice little yeah, that's, that's yeah just, but, but is that Wesley Snipes at home saying that? With no I, connection to this? Or is that Wesley Snipes as part of the a, family? I have that? a feeling that Wesley Snipes is playing Whistler. You think so? Yeah. The, the, the reason the, the mic drop was Ali said it. There is no script. There is no plan. He just signed the deal because he kept talking to Kevin Feige every chance he got going, I want to play Blade. He did it the Blake. night he won the Oscar. The night he won the Oscar, he set up a meeting with them and, and said, Feige went, what the hell? I want to do a movie. He said, which movie you want to do? He said, I want to do Blade. Okay. Oh, he also Feige did the name drop. He said, yes, there'll be another Avengers film. Yeah, there's supposed to be an uh, Fifth Avengers, Fifth, Avengers. Fifth Avengers film at some point yeah. in here also, and that's also liquid. Yeah, but it, it's, it's supposedly it's in there someplace. And everything yeah. in Phase Four will be leading into a big mega crossover event, which will be Phase Five. Oh, all that's, that's in two. All years. that, yeah, all that, that is that, eleven projects within two years. That's <laughs> like I said. That starts in May of yeah. 2020 and technically ends sometime in the middle of 2022. Yeah, you have nothing until Black Widow. No. Which won't be until May of next year. Yeah, which they're editing right now, because actually the film is done shooting, as far as I know. There's a trailer out there, which is not leaked on the internet yet, which is weird. But there is a trailer out there, and we confirmed that David Harbour is not playing Ben Grimm. He's playing Red Guardian. Red Guardian. Now, the um, actually, he would have made a good Ben Grimm. Yeah, he's, he, he's a working actor. <laughs> not, not to get into DC too deep, but there's nothing between now and Black Widow. No. When is Wonder Woman 2 coming out? Wonder Woman, I think, comes out around the same time, May. Okay, so, and that, as far as I know, is the only DC thing. Well, no. Well, Joker. 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 Joker's, Joker's coming out this Halloween. Yeah, Joker's right. coming out this Halloween. Joker's being screened at the film festival right now. Everyone has saw it so far. They have, it says it's great. It's yeah. not a traditional DC film. It's it's different. But they said it's great. The next comic book film you have, the next big comic book film, yeah. is going to be Joker. And then nothing until Black Widow, Wonder Woman right. 2. Right. So what did you guys think of the Phase 4 lineup? What did you guys think of the announcement? Some of these things, like I said, obviously are coming. We've got Black Panther 2, Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. 3, Captain Marvel, all that stuff. Which yeah, is Ryan, yeah, Ryan But some of the stuff that they announced was a surprise. The Blade thing was a total surprise. Cool. We, we already knew about most of those things. It, right. And also what happened was, not only did they announce these projects, they announced casting for most of those. The guy playing Shang-Chi, he looks like Shang-Chi. I saw the guy that played Well, here's the thing. You yeah. knew Thor was coming, but you yeah. didn't know Thor was going to be Jane Foster. Yeah, it'll be both. He, well, came yeah. up, he said... Yeah, I really like this Mighty Thor thing. The Jason Aaron guys are doing. They went, what? 
And then Portman came out. Hi, how Hi. you doing? And like, what? <laughs> well, I mean, in the movie, they'll obviously be able to cross over between the yes. two Thors. And they also said they're going to make it official. Valkyrie is LBGK. And she's getting a girlfriend in this thing. And Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, you didn't know that that was the tone that they were going to take with the Doctor Strange. Yeah, you didn't know they were going to You knew Doctor Strange 2 was coming, but not that it was going to be Marvel's first horror film. And you had that rumor that Namor is going to be in it. Well, that's what it kills that rumor. Namor is not in this thing. Scarlet Witch is in this thing, however. Because Because WandaVision leads directly into the film. And they also have to explain it. Well, I thought the Vision was dead. Yeah, well, that's one of the things they're going to talk about. He's just a pile of junk right now. That's it's an operative. Yeah, this series will explain exactly everything you need to know about who the Scarlet Witch is and what she can do. And then she'll be hanging out with Doctor Strange. Well, and then the, she'll say no yeah. more mutants. And then she'll say no, no she's not going to say no <laughs> more mutants. No, you know what she'll say? We need mutants. And that's when the X-Men show up <laughs> right. in phase four. I, I, in a way, they sort of were alluding to the Doctor Strange thing. If you go back and watch Infinity War and the conversation between Iron Man and Doctor Strange, and what was that he said? That's 52 million ways we can stop Thanos. There's only one way you can do it. Mm-hmm. So that means that Doctor Strange's already visited a whole other realm of universes to try and to figure out. you saw him out. in the film doing it. Yeah, he, the body's flipping it. Yeah. Like, okay, he's going so to every different possible reality. Yeah, he's going to place to place. I'm guessing that this is going to be a reason for them to have the Avengers to come back. For that fifth one. It's going to lead into phase five. It's, it's, there you go, right there. There was Dr. also Strange. one thing that he didn't talk about, which is technically part of phase five, the next Spider-Man movie. No, they have to renegotiate that. No, Spidey, no, that, no, that deal's Spidey's set. done. No, no, that deal's set. They, no, he did his, no, he no, did they his made, five films. They made a billion dollars, which means they get to keep control. They, Forever and ever, or just... Until the film doesn't make a billion dollars. So what, Spider-Man has to be in a film that doesn't make a billion dollars. Well, do you really think Spider-Man had trouble making a billion dollars? No, it didn't. I mean, no. I, saw it in the, I saw it in the middle of the week. The theater was half full. This is in the afternoon. Well, you're not going to be seeing a Spider-Man film anytime soon. No. There's nothing in here. No, there's no. nothing in here but talking about what it is, because if you've seen Far From Home, well, you know what the plot for the next film is going to be. So it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> How do we get out of this one? So that's the Easter egg at the end of... It's well, Easter egg two. one, and the Easter egg two is we find that the sword exists. Which will lead into the cosmic part of it. Well, I assume that that's going to tie into Captain Marvel whenever they get to it. Yeah. So let's go down the list of the uh, movies. Black Widow, first one up May 1st of next year. It's got Rachel Weiss in it playing the Iron Maiden. Yes. It's got Florence... Few, Pew? Pew? Florence Pugh. She Florence just Pugh. did Miss Summer. She's playing yeah. Yolanda, y- Yelena, the other. Uh, uh, she, she was the one in the, uh, the Del Toro horror film, right? Yes. Yeah. She's playing the blonde Black Widow. Yeah. And of course, you've got uh, David Harbour is the Red Guardian. Red Guardian. Red Guardian and Taskmaster's in it. Yeah. And of course, Scarlett Johansson. In Scarlett Johansson. As uh, Black Widow. Supposedly, the movie's a prequel. It's, it's sandwiched in between Civil War and Infinity War, but I would assume that this is probably the only Black Widow movie you're ever going to get, so they're going to be doing origins. And well, stuff. Here, yeah, so you're going to go before all the Yeah, movies. there's yeah. your catch. We can keep doing Black Widow films as long as we don't have them that happen after. Right. <laughs> we didn't tell you the story, by the way. Oh, yeah, we could tell they you the story. They said there's a reason, there's a big gap between Civil War when she was on the run and yeah. then Infinity when she hooked back up with Steve in the first, Secret Avenger. Well, they've danced around the origin of, of the Black Widow Project yeah. in, in this old Soviet Union. On Shield and Civil War, I Civil think, War, yeah. yeah, they danced around that, but I would assume that they'll might nail that down a little bit more with uh, the Black Widow movie. I just want to see Taskmaster. That's all. I saw a little bit of the stills of it, yeah, and the mask. Yeah. They did do the Deaf Heads mask. They got that down at least. I knew the cape wasn't going to come in there because too much like a comic book. Yeah, I know yeah, it's yeah, a comic book. Comic. You they, put they, capes they, in there. He's got a sword in his back. So what am I going to flip the cape? On I want the it? shield. I want the whole Taskmaster. Uh, I think you're going to get both. Yeah, I'd be interested to see Red Guardian wearing a Red Guardian costume. Yeah, That's that would be interesting. <laughs> Right after Black Widow is going to be Falcon Winter Soldier on Disney streaming. This is assuming they keep their schedules and everything. Anthony Mackie said he's already worn the Captain America outfit. Well, a version of it. Yeah. A yeah. version of it. Yeah. I would assume that they're going to do what they did in the comics and incorporate the Falcon costume yeah. into the Captain America costume so he'll have red wings or something. Yeah. The most interesting thing about that is the obvious who's going to be Captain America is you've yeah. got Bucky and Mackie there. Right. Okay. And who's going to be Captain America? And I'm assuming they're going to be back and forth with that. Yeah. But also. You got Baron Zemo in this yeah. thing, and yes. he's wearing a purple mask. Yes, yes, yes. the scar on face and everything. Yes. That was a cute little teaser. They talked about it, and then all of a sudden, the screen went dark, and Skull took over. I was like, what the hell happened? So, what do you think? Who's going to be Captain America? Is it going to be Falcon? It's, it's going to be. Bucky? It's going to be Falcon. Moving on, Eternals. Like I said, November sixth in twenty twenty. 
This is a movie in the theaters. It's going to be Angelina Jolie, Selma Hayek. Richard Madden. It's a prequel to the entire Marvel Universe. Yeah. The Eternals are the ones that created the Marvel Universe. There are, well, they, they created humanity on, on Earth. There are production design sketches that are floating all over the internet, and Celestials, the whole nine yards. Thing. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Well, you have Deviants, Humans, Eternals, and Celestials yeah. in the thing, and it's all Jack Kirby. And I've seen a lot of Jack Kirby art flying around, but I don't know about the production art, how Kirby-ish that looks. I mean, obviously the Celestials it looks more look like, sci- look it looks like Kirby. It looks more science fiction Yeah. No costumes. They haven't shown them in their outfits yet. In February 12th of 2021, we've got Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings of the Mandarin. You'll have to help me out with his name. Sing-Lai Lu? sing Lu. Sing Lu. Sing Lu. Sing Lu. He's playing Shang-Chi. Yeah. And you've got... Uh, Aquafina, the comedian, is playing the film. And yeah. veteran Chinese actor Tony Leung is playing the Mandarin. Good. They're getting an Asian to play the character. Yeah. Well, and they're not using Fu Manchu because they can't. No. Well, no, I would, does, I, does Disney own Fu Manchu or no, don't they? Because no. I've talked to some people at the store this week, and, and they told me that they were in the impression that Disney bought Fu Manchu uh, from they, the Saks Rothammer No, state. the Romner State still owns it. There are, really? There's still a Romner around there somewhere. It's probably like 100. But they're not going to stay Fu Manchu up on there because... Because Fu Manchu is... And Jim Starlin said this. Please don't use Fu Manchu. He's an ethnic stereotype. Exactly. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to he be doesn't an have ethnic to. stereotype. Mm-hmm. Yes, he was when he was first created, but right. he doesn't have to be. Right. You see, the, the problem with not using Fu Manchu is the original comic... Yeah. Which is this is what this is based on. Right. right. The original comic set up the whole father son dynamic. Yeah. You've got the most evil dad in the world, Fu Manchu, who wants to like not only conquer the world but enslave the world and make everybody do his bidding. Mm-hmm. And the good son who's the master of Kung Fu, who's fighting him right. with the rest of the Fu Manchu cast from the Sex Rothammer well, novels. What, what you could Black do, Jack Tar and yeah. Sir Nigel, Sir Nigel Eastland, and, and, whatever and, and, his name and is. You could basically say, We know who his father is, but we just won't say it. You think you're losing the whole father-son dynamic there, which is one of the things that really made that work in the first well, place. Well, what's interesting about this film is you've got an Asian director and an Asian screenwriter, and you got a, basically you've got an all-Asian cast. Yeah. You know, so they're going through the international feel. I think um, that's what Phase 4 basically is. It's sort of like the... Phase 4 is introduce characters that you don't know, have your characters that you do know to lead, you, to lead us into Phase 5, where you've got a mix of both. Okay, moving on, we've got WandaVision, spring of 2021. It's going to be on Disney+. Plus. The series takes place after Endgame, right. so Vision is dead. Yeah. And there's stuff in there, like you mentioned before, that's going to tie directly into Doctor Strange right. and the uh, Madness of the Multiverse. It's also already shooting right now. There's also going to be an adult version of Monica Rambeau. Yeah, she was a kid in Captain Marvel. Yeah. She's popping up there. She's all grown up in the thing, and they, they cast the actress. I don't have the name. I forget who it is. Uh, she, did, she did some TV stuff before, yeah. So I'm like, oh, Monica's going to be in. So it'll be interesting to see if she's actually going to be a Captain Marvel, yeah. quote unquote, or if she's just going to be kicking around. Or Photon, or whatever name you want to call her. After WandaVision, then we have Doctor Strange Indeed. in the Multiverse of Madness. It's Marvel's first horror film. Yes. And it's Scott Derrickson. He's directing it. He says it's going to be a gothic horror thing, like Dark Shadows. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <hey. laughs> the original Dark Shadows, not that stupid thing that... Uh, oh, remake. Yeah. But it's going to be a gothic horror thing, and it's supposed to be Marvel's first truly yeah, so, scary yeah, movie. movie. That means... Yeah, they're going to try for a real horror vibe. Nightmare. Probably, that's what they're saying. Nightmare's going to be the bad guy in the thing. But in the madness of the multiverse, one of the things that I've also heard... This could be very much inspired by his H.P. Lovecraft yeah. and a lot of Lovecraftian things like Chalu and Suma Toth or whatever the hell the name of the giant Suma squid-like Goda. thing. Yeah, go after yeah, whatever it was. But a lot of that stuff is public domain. I think yeah. that they could roll that stuff in if they yeah, wanted they to. This will not be R-rated. You could make a scary PG-13 yeah, film. Sure. The reason you have an R rating in most horror films is Blood because you're nudity. cutting heads off. Blood and nudity. You're putting language. machetes into people's skulls, yeah, and you're doing prosthetic work to show a machete in the skull. Right. That's titillation. It's not horror. <laughs> Moving on, after Doctor Strange, we have one of the more interesting Disney Plus ones. Not that the other two haven't, but this is Loki. And it's going to be Loki after Endgame, in the part of Endgame where Loki grabs a Tesseract. And walks away. And walks away. <laughs> away. They're going to retcon all of the character development after the first Avengers yeah. film that Loki went through. The second Thor film, the third Thor all film, all that character development they did is gone. <laughs> and this is going to be Loki picking up from that point, unreconstructed Loki, right. evil, Loki evil Loki, with the Tesseract, yeah. going out and having fun. Yeah. And Hiddleston goes, <laughs> man, if you guys had a chance to read these scripts, he's going to knock you on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff they came up with for me to do, 
I can't believe they actually got away with it. So once Loki picks up this Tesseract yeah. and walks away, mm-hmm. five minutes earlier, he was just had the crap beat on by the Hulk. Yeah, okay. right. Yeah. So he's coming yeah. off of that. He's coming off of that. I got my ass kicked, and now I got something I can kick everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Next, then, after Loki is What If, which is summer of 2021. Disney Plus animated. All the Marvel Universe characters that they need mm-hmm. are supposed to be doing voiceover work in this thing. And the supposedly the first of the stories that they're going to do for What If is going to be What If Peggy Carter Got the Super Soldier. Oh, yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah they, when they announced the thing, they announced that was one of them. So you're going to have uh, Haley Atwell doing the voice of Peggy Kirk. And you will have the watcher in this thing yes. as the narrator, just like in the original yes. What If. Except, except it'll be a black guy playing a white guy. What? Is the watcher? Yeah, Jeffrey Wright's black, but the watcher is clearly white. I don't know. Is the watcher going to be live action or is he going to be voiceover? He's going to be voiceover. So it'll be his voice, then. It'll be his voice. I am Because he, he's the got watcher. a great voice. But yeah, that's going to be animated, and that's and that whole thing's going to live and die by how well the animation is. Yeah. But Sony, the same folks who did Into the Spider Verse, do this, it could be like incredible. Then again, if the Disney people do it, if you've looked at some Marvel stuff through Disney over the last couple of years, this could be like a big waste of time. It's going to be one of the more interesting production wise. Well, the it's movies cheap, that are up there. the cheapest to do too. Well, the animation, yes and no. I mean, they're going to use the original voiceover talent, but there's. No filming involved. No. It's all animated. No, you just sit there in the studio. So you, After you know. uh, What If, you've got Hawkeye on Disney+, Plus, which is going to be the Clint Barton Hawkeye Andrew, introducing Kate Bishop. Kate the Bishop. Kate Bishop Who has not Hawkeye. been cast yet. And Jeremy Renner, of course, Jeremy, will be in it. Yeah, Jeremy Renner is the con. He got to do the uh, Robert Downey Jr. thing of walking through the Robert crowd and being cool. And by the way, when did Jeremy Renner become a pop star? Oh, you saw the commercial, did you? No, 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 no. I've seen the music videos. Yes, I can freaking yes. sing. Not only that, did you know he's rich, not from the Marvel thing, but also he buys house and flips it, and yeah. he has made several million yeah, dollars he's, he's doing rich. that. But yeah, he's a pop So star. he's basically doing this for the fun of it. I'm sitting there going, Jeremy Renner, music video. <laughs> what? Great. And I'm going, damn, he's pretty good. After Hawkeye, we've got in November 5th, 2021, Thor, Love and Thunder, with Natalie Portman doing the Jason Aaron Thor. And Jane Foster. Uh, Jane Foster. With Jane Foster. He's pumping up right now. Now, we are way down into the future with this yeah. stuff. What they're going to pull out of the Jason Aaron run is up in the air. I mean, is she going to have cancer? Is she going to be dying? Is it, is, is it just going to be cancer. fat old man Thor saying, I can't do this anymore. I have to pass it on to someone else, and she happens to be there? Yeah, because Valkyrie in this film is rebuilding Asgard. I got a feeling they're going to do the whole you're not worthy sort of bit. Could be. Well, he's going to have Stormbringer in the she's thing, got not Mulch. He's got his own hammer now. He doesn't you know, he doesn't really need who knows she, her anymore. She's going to wind up with Mulch. Yeah, she's going to get it. But they haven't at this point said anything about how she's going to get it or why there's a handoff yeah. or whatever. I assume that Thor is going to be taking Odin's place. Probably. So I can't run out and do this stuff right. anymore, but you can. You can do it. Especially since Marvel gave you a whole buttload of money and now you'll be happy to do yeah, it. Yeah. Not <laughs> give us any more trouble like you did right. with Thor 2. Right. Right. And that is your Phase 4. Like we said earlier, Phase 5 will probably be Blade. There's something going to be happening with Fantastic Four. My money is on a lot of Easter eggs. That are fan- by the time, you, by the time you get into those last films, yeah, you can throw Easter eggs out because you, you are not confined to the contract. The deal is set, and you can say whatever you want, so you can drop Easter eggs here and there all, all you want. Solid Easter egg yeah. setups for the Fantastic Four. They got the characters back. Yeah. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. And you're talking about Namor? Yeah. I bet Namor is going to show up at some point during all these two, assuming the rights are straightened out with Namor. They still totally mm-hmm. own it. Joe Quesada said a while ago, he said it like three years ago, and we own the rights to Namor. And I, you're talking about um, Keanu Reeves? Yeah. I think he'd make a great Namor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you think about that. They're talking to Keanu for a part. We have films we haven't announced yet. Keanu's sitting there waiting, going, what's the part? What's the part? What's the part? What do you got? What do you Namor. Got? What do you got? We'll, put Namor. Some, we'll slap some Spock ears on you. We'll give you a pair of Speedos yeah. and a couple of wristbands, and you're or, set. Or Silver Surfer. No, not no, 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 no. The, not one, one of the things they did get right in that second Fantastic Four movie was you sort of have to CGI the character. So yeah, you can't have a, a person walk around in all silver. Hey. Now you can do better CGI. You got Bradley Cooper walking around as a damn raccoon, and we know it's Bradley Cooper. We know that Vin Diesel's Groot. You don't have to see him. The one rumor I've heard the most of, he's playing Reed Richards. That's the rumor I keep hearing. Reed Richards for Keanu yeah. Reeves? Yeah. 
Like, you know, they wouldn't. I, yeah. I, I yeah, don't know. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be a terrible. That's the hot rumor I'm hearing. They, they, they want him to play Reed Richards. The <laughs> problem with Keanu Reeves playing Reed Richards is Reed Richards is not the star of the Fantastic Four. No. Ben and Johnny are. No, no, no. Reed and Sue are background players, and I love the Fantastic Four, but that's just the way it falls with yeah, the team. Right. Those are the two visible characters that everybody loves. So you got Keanu Reeves playing a character who's background character. Where if he's Namor, he's out front. I am Namor, and I am pissed off, and now I'm going to convey the yeah. surface world, and now I have to have all this exposition. I'm a jerk. <laughs> I don't know if Keanu wants to wear a Speedo. So. I am sure he'll be happy to wear whatever they want to give him Keanu's if the check is big enough. enough. Okay, before we wrap this thing up, what do you guys think of the films they pick for pays for? One of the things that's not in this yes. is there is not an A-level character no. in here. No. Okay, no. these are all B-level characters. The one A-level character they have, Thor... Thor. It's going to be a B-level character because it's Lady Thor. It's thor It's It's a female Thor. So nothing in this phase is top-line Marvel characters. No. Granted, Black Panther made a billion dollars. Yes. But you also have movies like Ant-Man, yeah. which made like half of that, which is respectable. Well, yeah. but, it, but, but you don't have big tent poles coming off of Ant-Man. No, you don't have Ted Bowles coming off of Ant-Man. has always made more than enough money to justify to keep making more Ant-Man films. But, but you've got no Iron Man here. You've got no Thor Thor here. You've got no Thor. You've got no Captain America well, here. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, because well, Donnie's character's dead. And Chris Evans says, I'm well, that's one of the things. Well, that's the thing that surprised me about these is I really thought that they were going to stick Fantastic Four dead center in Phase 4. That is your latest characters right there. You introduce them. And you make the A-list out of them like they deserve to be because they're the foundation characters of the Marvel Universe. What you really have to understand is the fact that Phase 4, even though they announced the titles of these films, all those films were in the works well before the Disney deal happened. So you were going to add Fantastic Four. Fox. You were going to add X-Men because those films, those couldn't get done until afterwards. Well, Phase 3 changed. You had an Inhumans movie stuck into Phase 3 that disappeared well, and wound that, up on but, TV at some that, point. That had more to do with a power struggle between Perlmutter and Feige. Well, whatever the reason was, it yeah. still happened. And, so it could happen right. again It with could this. happen again, but Phase 4 is locked into two years. And yeah, I, Nothing's being added. They, they got the D3 coming up. There's going to be no new films added. This is it. They will announce more information about what we announced, but there are no new films going to be announced at D3. So but, the D3 is going to basically have the actors and actresses that's playing you know yeah. what you could do for D3? You've got this Avengers Summit going on. You know what you do? You make it a big deal event. You have everyone who's ever in Avengers show up at the thing. And, Hi, we're here. We're say, we're doing our victory lap. We're saying goodbye. We're saying goodbye. Then bring in Phase And then you four. bring in, and then you say, These are, well, they were all there together hanging out anyway. The one thing I would expect yeah. also coming out of Phase 4 is don't be surprised to see a Robert Downey Jr. Jr. cameo of some sort somewhere in the thing, either a hologram or a recording or a flashback or something. I'm not saying he's going to be running around in the Iron Man armor, but I don't think that we are done done with Robert Downey Jr. I wouldn't yeah, be at all surprised to see something show up. Him him getting anything more than a very small credit yeah, a minor thing. in a thing, but he would still be there. Uh, um, hi, I'm Stan, more likely it'd Stan be the Lee, Doctor yeah. Strange. Stan Lee always got a credit. He never was in any movie for more than 10 seconds. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he might he might wind up taking Stan's place. I don't see them wanting to cut that loose. I, the I, idea of that cut Yeah, loose. but I'm looking at Downey's schedule for the next two years, and I don't really have no idea where he fit in time to do any of that. It's one day's we're, worth of work. talking about Robert. Here's $20 million. Do a half a day of... Yeah, and that's the other part. How much are you going to give me for my half a day of shooting? Oh, well, I'm, they, I'm sure they, they got worked. the money. Oh, well, of course you got the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. They if, have if, the if, money. If, let's, 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 say, let's say, pick one. No, let's say Shang-Chi. Somehow, some way, they stick in a brief... 20 second Easter egg with him in there. Now, you don't think that word's not going to get out after the movie comes out and that's going to drive people into the theaters to see it? You got to see the Tony Stark cameo that's in the thing. He's, it's only for 20 seconds and it's great. Yeah, Mandarin going you have to do it anyway because the, this is about the Mandarin and what was Iron Man 3 about? People would like to forget Iron Man 3. <laughs> well, regardless, regardless, right, right. regardless, I wouldn't be at all surprised if that happened in the future. Okay. And that's Phase 4. Uh, be sure to go to the store's website, folks, uh, myalternaterally.com, where you can find out more of Bo's news, more of JR's reviews, more of Vito Carly's reviews, sales, and much, much more about Alternate Reality. The store, that's at myalternaterally.com. I want to thank you both for coming in today. Rod, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Bo, thank you. Well, you're quite welcome. Be, like I said, be sure to check out the store's website. Be sure to check out our other podcasts. I've mentioned in the past couple podcasts we've done, they're down to a half an hour. The show's been a half an hour. And we're trying to get them out faster, but they're going to be shorter, but we're trying to get them out faster, packed with as much information as we possibly can. So until next time, you take care of yourself, and bye!
Thanks a lot for listening. If you enjoyed this show, please like and share it with all your friends. We value your feedback, so drop us a question, comment, show idea, or complaint either at aircomics at msn.com or if provided in the comments section down below on this platform. The opinions expressed in this episode are solely those of the individuals and not necessarily those of Alternate Reality Incorporated. This show is, as always, coming to you from the Alternate Reality Comic Shop, located in the heart of beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie, serving Chicago comics fandom since 1994.